I'm currently in Spain, in Madrid, and today I'm gonna take you guys in an epic street food. I got a food guide, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat every single item that he shows it to me, but I can tell you one thing, I'm gonna try. This place is beautiful, and every single time I walk on the street, I think I'm in the movies. The architecture here is insane, but most importantly, the food is just to die for. So enough talking, and let's go. First off, breakfast. Here, one of the most popular things that they usually eat for breakfast is churros but not the way we eat churros in the US with a little bit of sugar and all that goodness. Here they use a thick chocolate as a dipping sauce. I had to give it a try and I had to go for the one that is the most popular one of them all. It was created in 1894. There's a lot of history in this place and I cannot wait to see if it's gonna be good. Churros. Well actually this one is churros and then this one is called borras. Ooh, chocolate. Wow. Oh and it's thick. It's delicious. Surprisingly, it was not sweet whatsoever. I even have to put a little bit of sugar so that I can get my sugar scraving done, if you know what I mean. So the porra has a lot more grease because obviously it's thicker. I like the churros more. The churros is better. That churros was delicious. They fried the whole thing in olive oil, so it's healthy. That's what we're going with. On the way to our next food stop, we got to stop in a church. This church is beautiful, and a lot of the things are made out of silver and gold plated. So if you come to Madrid, you gotta see the Royal Palace. And then right next to it, they have some food. El Asiano Rey. I gotta practice my Spanish. Not good. You know, if I see a jamón tapas, I'm gonna have to try it. Mm. Mm. That's good. Now the next one is this one right here. It is oxtail. Mm. That is delicious. Fatty, little crispy. The bell pepper on the top is delicious. And they also have a little bit of balsamic vinegar on the top. So that was called Regalitos del Torito, which means the present of the bull. Obviously, because you're eating its tail, so. But I gotta say, that was delicious. And I don't know if you know this about me, but I love salmon. If I see it, I gotta have it. Very good, I can eat just that. As soon as that was over, we continue our tour. And then it was time for Jamón Ibérico. You come to Spain, you gotta see the, the jamón. Hola, como estas? Wow, gracias. Jamón Ibérico, everybody. Those jamón were delicious, everybody. It is fatty, it has a unique taste. If you never had Jamón Ibérico, try it. You'll thank me later. It is amazing, everybody, amazing. One of the most popular street food here they have is croqueta de bacalao. We're gonna try that right now. Let's see, street food of Madrid. Oh my God. Oh, super light, perfectly fried, nice and crunchy, super, super delicious. This with a little bit of beer and wine. Ah. So there's one thing that is very, very popular here in Madrid. It is a calamari sandwich. And my guide, Danny, we have to try this? For sure. It's, something, it's mandatory in Madrid, actually. It's not an option. We're gonna try it right now. And there we have it, everybody. The calamari sandwich. Here we have the salsa brava. It's a tomato-based sauce with some spices. Oh yeah. Super soft, not chewy. The key is the bread. The bread is amazing. I can understand why this is very popular. Now the next stop was something that I was really looking forward to. It's called Mercado de San Miguel. Every single type of little hors d'oeuvres, tapas, sandwiches, they even had some tomahawk dry aging in there. Everything and anything you can think of, they have it. Olives, seafood, and as you already know, tapas is quite inexpensive, even with caviar. Now I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a sweet person. But there's one sweet here that is the most popular one of them all. And of course, if it's popular, we're gonna try. Oh, soft, creamy in the middle. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's very good, very good. I gotta tell you, walking around Madrid is incredible. Nighttime is when it comes alive. The first stop was a restaurant called Escarpin. And as you can see, the option for tapas are incredible. But the first thing that arrived was this sidra. Usually the waiter just create bubbles by putting it on the glass really, really high. But they have a special device there that does it. I had to give it a try. Mm. Too much. More? 
The more the better. Yes. Sidre is okay. Sidre is good, but Sidre is not my favorite. First thing to start off the night was some chorizo. It looks like they do not grill it here. So the chorizo is also served with potato. Mm. Super, super soft sausage. Very nice. Next up was some potatoes. Now these potatoes is something I've never had before. Oh, that is blue cheese. Very soft fried potato, but the blue cheese is very strong. Batatas a cabrales. Al cabrales. My Spanish not that good, everybody. <laughs> now the next item that came, man, that got my attention. You see the bottom is kind of like a tortilla, but it's made out of corn, but they have different toppings. We had a fried egg, a morcilla, some pork, and the last one, blue cheese. Mm. Super crunchy bottom, almost like a tortilla, but not really. Let's try this one, it smells good. Oh, that is strong. So black pudding is basically blood sausage. It's good though. Let's try this one right here. Mm. I like that. A little bit of this cheese. That's very strong. The cheese is super powerful. That was a good appetizer. Now we're gonna go to the Maison de Champion, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's the Museum of Champion, which is uh, mushrooms. This is a little hole in the wall restaurant. And one of the things you guys can't experience it is the smell. It smells amazing. So this restaurant has a lot of different things in the menu, but one of the most popular are this right here, the mushrooms. And they have a very specific way of eating it. So those mushrooms were incredible. What they do is they cook it on the flat top first. Then they put some olive oil with some spices. Then they put a little bit of a jamón iberico in there. And when you take a bite, it is so juicy. That's why they have a specific way that you have to eat it in order to enjoy it properly. This is the reason why this restaurant became famous. Honestly, that's one of the best bite I had today. That was good. That was real good. Now, as it was getting late, we walked throughout the city and the food never stops. If you've never been to Madrid, I highly recommend. The people here are incredible and the food is next level because no matter what it is that you enjoy eating, you will find it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.